today I'm going to show you how you can buy bitcoins with your debit card. Okay, so you want to buy bitcoins but you're not sure on how you can do it. Well, watch this video and I'm going to show you how simple it actually is to buy bitcoins. Now, the website we're going to be using is called localbitcoins.com. Now, there's a bit of a misconception when buying bitcoins and I thought it too. But basically, people think that it's really complicated to buy bitcoins uh, and you have to do all sorts of verifications. And while that can be true on some websites, on others it's just simply not true. So watch this video and I'm going to make it really clear. Now, just a note, this is buying bitcoins with a debit or credit card. Uh, if you want to buy bitcoins with PayPal, you want to click on the link in the description uh, and it's going to take you to that video. But buying with PayPal has a really high rate, so you're going to have to pay something like 20% in fees. So here we go, buying bitcoins with your debit card. Uh, so you want to click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to local bitcoins and from here you want to make an account now once you've made an account you're going to come to this page uh, you want to go to your edit profile and I've just made a new account to show you what it's going to look like so you're going to need to verify your email so that's pretty simple go verify the email that you've entered uh, you're going to have to add your phone number you need to set a real name and make sure that that name is the same on your card make sure you set your time zone here and if we scroll down here, here's the verification. Now, once you've done your email and your phone, obviously them two are going to say yes. Uh, but to actually trade, you're going to need to verify your identity. Now, it's really not hard using this software and you can do it within about five minutes. Um, so you just want to click verify identity here. And it's going to take you through the process on doing it. Now, you just need a valid ID. So you can use your passport or your driving license. If we click start here, it's going to tell us we can use our passport, identity card or driving license. Uh, so you want to get any of them ready and then follow the instructions on screen. But all you simply have to do is take a picture of it, uh, upload it to local bitcoins and the software is going to scan it to see if it's real. Uh, there's no human verification, it's simply the software that does the work. Okay, so this is going to take around 5 minutes. Uh, once you've done that, you want to come back to the video. Okay, so now I'm logged into my actual account where I'm going to show you how the buying process goes down. So when you first see it, you're going to see Quick Buy or Quick Sell. It's going to be on Quick Buy by default. Now the easiest and most cost efficient way to buy Bitcoins is by a uh, national bank transfer. Uh, I'm in the UK, so obviously I'm going to be buying from the UK. But if you're from the US or anywhere else, it's going to be your country. Uh, and then we're going to click search here. And now we're going to see all of the people that are selling Bitcoin and what price they're selling at. Now here is the price per Bitcoin. Uh, the lower this number, the lower the amount of money you are going to pay for Bitcoin. Uh, but as you can see here, they have limits. So 120, 100, 150 and so on down here. Now this guy has a £5 limit, so I'm just going to click on this person. Now this person says that your real name and identity must be verified by local Bitcoin, uh, which you should have already done. And he says he may ask types of verification to protect us both. Uh, this is probably going to be a selfie with your passport or something. But because I'm making a video, I don't really have time for that. So we're going to go to the next best person. Okay, so the next best person here is Rob. Uh, he's got a yellow light and he was last seen 15 minutes ago. Uh, so I'm just going to try and see if he's available. Uh, if he's not, we're going to have to try someone else. So you want to click on his list in here. Or anyone's list in that you want to buy and it's going to show you the terms of trade uh, if your profile doesn't show id then i can't trade with you uh, we should already be verified for id and that's pretty much all of the terms he has so now we can check how much we want to buy so in my case i want to buy around 15 pounds worth so if i enter 15 pounds it's going to tell us how much we're going to get in bitcoin here uh, this number i can just copy and then i can go to prove.com and change it to great british pound and now i can paste in this number and it's going to tell us how much we're going to get so for example i'm going to spend 15 pounds here and i'm going to get 14 pounds and seven pence which isn't too bad that's acceptable uh, but what i'm actually going to do is bump this up to 16 pound instead and then you just want to simply send a trade request like i'm going to do now and now you can go ahead and contact the person so i'm just going to put hi looking to trade and then i'm going to click send and now I've just got to wait for him to come online and see this. So I'm going to be back when he's online. Okay, so now as you can see, we had to wait a while, but he sent a message back. Uh, here I'm going to blur everything out. You've probably noticed that already. 
Uh, but I'm not going to reveal any of this guy's personal information. Uh, neither am I going to reveal any of mine. So here is gives me his account name, his account number and his sort code. Uh, which I'm going to copy into my bank and send the money. So I'm just going to go and do that now. And then as you can see here, he says, please remember, don't use the Bitcoin um, or anything to do with Bitcoin. Use the reference in the right hand side, uh, which is here, which I'm just going to copy. I'm going to paste this in the reference box and put the amount to £16. And I'm just going to recheck all of the information. OK, so as you can see here, it says my payment's been processed. The, this is on my bank account. I'm now just going to go and go down to here and mark the payment as complete. And it says here the seller has been notified. Uh, I'm just going to write a message saying sent and then click send. Now I've just got to wait for this guy to see the transactions been made and release the bitcoins. Now you're covered by escrow which basically means that local bitcoins are going to hold the bitcoin until the seller marks it as released. And if there's any problems they have the bitcoins and you can sort it out from there. But if you deal with someone with good feedback then you're not going to have any problems. And I'm pretty confident that this deal is going to go through smoothly. And now I said great stuff all done for you. Thank you for that. And it's going to release the money into escrow in a minute. Uh, as you can see up here it says zero at the minute. And that ding there means that everything is done successfully. I'm just going to check this message here. And it's just that he's given us good feedback. Uh, now I've opened up a new tab. As you can see we have a Bitcoin in our wallet here. And here is the Bitcoin here. And we can go ahead and send this to our normal wallet that we would use. Uh, I use Electrum so I could just go and send that to my wallet. Okay so that's how you do it. That's how you buy Bitcoins with local Bitcoins. I hope I demonstrated this in a way that you can understand. I did have to blur information out obviously. But I hope you can understand the process and understand that it's not that hard and not as difficult as some people make it out to be. All you really need to do is make sure your ID verified on the site. Okay, so if you want to go and do this, there'll be a link to local bitcoins in the description. Uh, please click it, it will help me out. Okay, so thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.